In this video, I'm going to show you one of the most important things that you can have on defense. Every defense needs to have this for it to be effective. And we're going to talk about why the best defenses in Madden always have this common denominator. Now, if you're watching this video and you want to get better at Madden 23, make sure to check out my Patreon. That's where you'll get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. We've got complete defensive ebooks over there uh, with everything about what we're talking about in this video, as well as much, much more. Now, today we're talking about basically what is the common denominator between almost every competitive level defense in the game. And it's really fairly simple. Um, you have to be able to have a blitz threat or a threat of pressure in some way. Now, this can be, we're going to walk through a couple of formations today. I'm going to give you a bunch of blitzes in this game that you can use. Um, but the common denominators, you have to be able to have a blitz threat. And the reason is actually fairly simple. It's really more of a mathematical reason than anything else. If you think about it, if you can get consistent pressure on the quarterback, then your opponent has to start blocking at least one running back, potentially a wide receiver or a tight end. So generally speaking, they can send five receivers out on routes and they can design route combinations to attack a lot of the meta defenses. However, when you force them to have to leave a back in the block or a tight end in the block, then the beauty of this is you're going to be able to now only have to, to defend uh, four or three routes on the field as compared to five. And if you do it the right way, you could be potentially in a drop eight coverage defense and they're only sending three routes on the field. And now you have a significant mathematical advantage, eight on five, and you're still going to get really good sheds. I'm going to show you a couple of reasons this exists within defenses and some, especially some of the best defenses in the game. So I want to start with nickel over. Nickel over is one of the best defenses in the game this year. Um, but if you were to come out and just run this OB Blitz 1, what you would see is this is a five-man pressure. But the problem is it doesn't really consistently get super good pressure on the running back, meaning there's no real reason for your opponent to block anybody to stop this. What this is going to result in is you're going to be sending five uh, pass rushers at five blockers, and now they're going to send five routes out, and you only have six defenders. So let's say that one player on the field beats their man-to-man, -man, then you're going to potentially have a big play on your hands. Whereas if you could guarantee yourself that you're going to get pressure if they send five out by simply pinching your defense, this is going to be a significant advantage uh, for the defense. So you see right here, now they're not going to have time to let routes develop because just by pinching your defense, you're going to be in a position where you could potentially get some crazy good pressure um, at the quarterback. Now, the same is true, and, and, and it doesn't necessarily even matter what the blitz threat is, just as long as there's a blitz threat. Just as long as if they're sending five people out on routes consistently, you have a advantage defensively if you, you know, send a five-man blitz, okay? So let's go another formation that is super popular. Let's talk about it. This one is actually one of my favorite ones to talk about right now, and that is the nickel 3-3. I've got an entire defensive ebook on this formation. Uh, we've got ebooks on everything that we're going to show you. So if you want to get any of these defenses, everything's in the Patreon. You get unlimited access by becoming a member. Link is in the description if you want to check it out. All right, so LB Blitz 1. This is one of my favorite ones to talk about right now. So you'll see right here, this is, in this year's game, this right here, this simple defense is a blitz, is indeed a blitz threat. Now we can do a lot of things from a coverage perspective as well with this, but the beauty of this is just by moving that one linebacker, I don't even have to move the other side. Um, I can literally just move that one linebacker that direction and they have to respect this with blocking people. If they don't, as you can see right there, we're gonna get pressure. So what this does is now we start to play this game where if they think you're blitzing and if you're doing one of the hallmarks of any effective defense is making everything look the same. So if you're always making it look the same pre-snap, but now all of a sudden they're starting to block people, i.e. the running back, now we have a significant advantage in pass coverage. And you see there that this defense gets incredible sheds at the quarterback. So the idea with this is how can we set it ourselves up to where we can always give a pre-snap blitz threat, but then at, at critical situations, maybe we go ahead and drop everybody back into coverage. So now we're going to drop a coverage, and they're trying to pick up all this pressure that we can send at them, and maybe they're even motion snapping people into block, 
And now we're in drop eight coverage and there's literally nothing open on the field because we have a significant advantage with the a significant numbers advantage. You can apply this concept to any year of Madden. Every year of Madden that you play, you will notice that the best defenses all have a threat of pressure. Now that can change Madden to Madden. That can change, um, that can even change patch to patch, right? But the bottom line is, can you send four or five against five blockers and get consistent pressure? If you can do that, then you can have an effective defense. I'm going to show you one of the one other defense that I really like, and that's the Big Nickel Over G. I'm going to show you something really cool with this. So we're going to go to Big Nickel Over G, and I'm just going to come out in the cover two. This is one of my favorite coverage defenses in the game. Now, from this look right here, I don't really have that great of a blitz threat. Like, I could maybe blitz my slot corner, but that's pretty much it, right? So maybe we could get that, that slot corner going, and that's about the gist of the pressure. But if I make some adjustments, such as pinching my line and showing blitz, the beauty of this formation is now we can send pressure off of this edge, we can send pressure off of this edge, and if we really wanted to get crazy, we could send a linebacker. We could do something like this where we're using this defender. And now what we can do is we can go back and forth between dropping coverage, a drop eight coverage, something like this. Or we could go ahead and say, we're going to blitz you off that side and maybe roll the coverage into the, into the left sideline. So you see something like this, get crazy pressure because they're sending five out because you've been playing a lot of coverage. The hallmark of any great defense, in my opinion, is the ability to have at least a threat of pressure and ideally a threat of pressure off of both edges so that your opponent has to plan for the, uh, the necessity of craft protecting on both sides. It's super important. You have to have it in any defense that you run. Luckily, in this year's game, there's a lot of really, really good blitzing formations. It means that there's a lot of really decent defenses. And we have a ton of defensive ebooks in the Patreon. So if you have not become a Patreon member yet, I would really encourage you to sign up. You can head down to the description below and go check out the Patreon.